In this session, I'm going to be teaching you about the other two buttons on that first row, the 25 and the 45 minute timers. In the last session, we covered the five and the 10 minute timers that you can use to stop yourself getting sucked down those rabbit holes that take your time and your attention. These will be the mindful reminders that bring you back and help you to continue to do the important things that you're working on. A big part of those important things, as we talked about before, is learning to do deep work. And for that, unfortunately, many of us need to reprogram our minds a little. We're gonna focus on the 45 minute timer button. When we do functional MRI studies of people who've used email or use social media, they often think that they're really good at focus. Unfortunately, when we put them inside functional MRI scanners, along with people who don't tend to use social media, email or other things, we see that their brains function very differently. The people who have not been reprogrammed are not having their brains activate and seek distraction, seek a dopamine hit every three to six minutes. Can you imagine that? Inside yourself, every three to six minutes, something interrupts your train of thought and says, hey, maybe you could go and get one of those hits from those news or social media channels. That's what's happening for many people, even though they're not aware of it. They have to use Herculean efforts to help overcome that in their minds. And sometimes or often they give into it, which reinforces that kind of behavior in those neural pathways. It's gonna be incredibly valuable if you can develop the ability to not only concentrate well, but also to reprogram your mind to avoid distraction. And that's what this button is for. What you're gonna do is have hopefully planned out some deep work sessions for yourself, have created a few blocks, hopefully somewhere between two and four hours, and you're gonna use the 45 minute timer to declare your intention to work on that really cognitively challenging thing that's gonna move you or your work um, forward. It's gonna go through the same cycle timers as are there. So when it gets to 25 minutes, it's gonna go green. When it gets to 10 minutes, it's gonna go orange. When it gets to five minutes, it's gonna go red, and then it's gonna to start to blink for you. In order to stop it, you're just gonna press it and it'll go off. If you find that you need five more minutes when it's blinking, you can use the five minute timer and it will just make sure that it switches that off and that'll go on It's part of that same block. It's quite frequent that it happens. Why is this 45 minutes not unlimited or 60 minutes? The reason is that we know that for most people doing really intensive deliberative practice, it's only possible for up to about 53 minutes. And then it's really beneficial for them to take a brief break and then return to it. And that keeps your cognitive functioning maximally high. This is discussed in a lot of detail in Daniel Pink's work on when, the science of perfect timing. So that's why it's set as a 45 minute timer. The expected way that you'll use it is set 45 minutes, be very focused. Whenever you get distracted, you'll just look over at this button and it's gonna remind you that yeah, you committed to working on this thing. And that's gonna slowly help you to reprogram your brain. When it goes off, you're gonna wrap up what you're doing, one of these other timers that just extends it by a little bit. And then you're gonna get up and take a golden time break. Step away from your desk, go to the bathroom, get a drink, reset your mind a little bit. If you can get outside, that's even a higher level of resetting for you. Then you're gonna come back and you'll find that you've got new focus that you can bring to it or new awareness of the most important areas for you to dive into. That's the power of this final button. The 25 minute button is also a powerful timer. As you might know from the Pomodoro technique, this is widely used in many other centers where they can focus for 25 minutes and then they take a five minute break. Focus for 25 minutes, take another break. Focus for another 25 minutes, then take a longer break. That's the Pomodoro method. I use it myself when I do have meetings coming up and I don't have a full hour block. Often in those times, many people get overwhelmed. They just say, well, I don't really have time to do anything, so I'm just gonna do busy work. Sometimes doing shallow work is important and you can do that then, but you still do it with dedication and focus. I use it as a moment to say, I don't wanna forget about the meeting coming up, but I do want to use this as a time to dive into something quick, right? And so that's what I use the 25 minute timer for. You'll find that even on those days when they're chopped up with some meetings, you can still find a way to flow with the day instead of flowing against it or resenting the fact that you don't have these big blocks. But like I said, some of the most important and impactful work that you're going to do is in these two to four hour deep work blocks. And this will help you to reprogram your mind to take full advantage of it.